Inside line, the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Look at the hands. Oh, there's trouble. Oh, Kyle they Larson. And my corner stay popping. Yes, I can rap. And no, I'm not from Cotton. England is my city. And it Hola, mis amigos. Me amo Samuel Wilson. Now the rain today is saying it's from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. So I don't even think the race will be delayed at all. Unlike last night's race. So guys, it says it's only supposed to rain from 3 to 5 p.m. tonight. I don't even think the race will be delayed at all. And if it is, insert postponement announcement right here. <laughs> guys, it's 9.30 and I'm actually awake. Oh my god, that's... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't played PlayStation yet this morning. I got some playtime, man. You're good. It's all good now. We're finally about to go back racing. It's still under red flag. It's been like the longest red flag ever. Been like the longest race ever. But it's okay. It's not okay. Engines are fired. They're back under yellow. Good to see. Wow, they're back green. They're back green. They're back green. Yay, yay, yay. Weather. Caution has come out for weather. Hear that? You do you hear that? That that, that do you hear that? So here they come down on pit road. They're gonna stop them again for the second time. This reminds me of that 2014 cup race. So that thing is close to where the track is. Not exactly where the track is, but that's close to where the track is. You can see all this rain coming through. I feel like the weatherman right now. I don't think we'll get any after this, but it looks like what it's looking at. Yeah, it's gonna stay there for a, a while. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go make lunch. Well, I'm rolling away. I'm rolling away from America because Trump is president. Mercy, come here. Oh, yes, I know. I hear drivers to your cars, and I was correct. There are some drivers taking their helmets off and some drivers putting their gloves on. It's difference of opinion. And there's light sprinkles, but it doesn't look like it's too heavy, but it might get heavier. Wow, cars are finally back on track. Whoa, how did that happen? Finally, they're back racing. Ty Dillon's taking the lead. Well, Daniel Suarez has some trouble. I'm looking at the side-by-side -side action. Don't know what happened, but it's something happened. Let's go. Let's race. We're back green. What does this mean? Does this mean the race is going to turn off in 15 seconds? I don't know, I don't have energy for that. I don't have energy to find another stream. my god, um, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. No, 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 no. Okay, at least they moved it back. Okay, okay. It's not me controlling this guy's cable, it, it's that guy. Well, there's trouble for Jeremy Clements. It's so difficult for Joey Logano with this aero package. It appears to me that it's easier to get runs from both the bottom. Oh, the right oh the trouble! Oh gosh. He collects the three of Ty Dillon. Oh, that sucks. He was leading. I didn't even see that all the way. Or was he leading? I'm not sure. I didn't see that all the way. Here we go. Back green. Four laps to go. We are back green. 22 did a good job of using the double yellow line, but it hurt his momentum. Eric Jones trying to capitalize. Eric Jones on the outside. Oh, trouble. Oh, I thought that was going to be a crash. Is it a crash? Nope. Nope. No crash, but that was gonna be that would have been huge. Two laps to go. Oh trouble! Oh big crash! Oh gosh! Oh oh how did he not flip? Oh, that's huge. Was that the overtime line? It's not the end of it, I don't think. That was huge. 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 Yep, we still have overtime. Oh uh, Ryan Reed's involved. That sucks. He was doing so good. Okay, here we go. Two laps to go and we go back green. Once we hit that overtime line on the back stretch, it'll be official. The caution comes out, of course. Two laps to go. Green flag in the air. I'm gonna go for this win as well as I come to the out the overtime. Line. Oh, trouble! And no caution, so this is it. This is it. Caution is out. I think William Byron. William Byron. No, no, maybe NASCAR called it before. Because this thing, just keep in mind, this thing is not the like official thing. Na it's like NASCAR's official thing. But yeah, they did. William Byron wins. Start your 
Sunoco Green E15 powered engines made with American... So how many times have you listened to a speech and you think, is this guy ever going to get to the point? A lot of people will get up and they'll do things like they'll introduce everybody in the front row or they'll thank everybody. It's almost like the Academy Awards. If you do nothing else when you're giving a speech, you get up and you go right into your major point, right up front. You get up, you say, hey, good morning. Good to see everyone. Look, the key thing I want to tell you today is this. And you hit them on the head with it. And you'll stand out because nobody does this. Everybody gets into a, what we call that happy talk, the throat clearing. So you start with your major point and then you know what? The other side of that sandwich is that you end with your major point and you say, in conclusion, my major message is this. See that piece of paper? You know, usually. You... Why? Here they go. Green flag is in the air. They are racing at Daytona. Great perspective as we see the bad cam going down the back stretch at 100 miles an hour. That camera moves. And Chase Elliott leads the first lap. There's trouble for DJ Kennington. I almost said Clint Boyer, but it, it's not Clint Boyer anymore. Okay, here is the final corners of the stage. Keselowski has the lead. They're racing like this is the end of the race, honestly. And it is Keselowski wins stage number one. Here we go. Green flag is going to come back in the air. Hamlin and Eric Jones. Junior's coming up, trying to make it by. Eric Jones battling with Kyle Larson. Oh my gosh, that was so close to being a wreck. Junior got in the wall, so they did not rig the result. There, of, of course. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, that's fine. That, yep, that, that's perfectly fine with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes me mad. What's the point of staying up? What are you, stupid? I don't know. I think, he, I think he had a problem. That thing just turned around right in front of the field. So, look at all the big impacts, all the smoke. Matt Kenseth wins stage number two. At least it's not the win of the race. Here they go back. Green flag is in the air. Ricky Sanos Jr. is leading right now. Brendan Gaughan has a little bit of trouble. No caution yet. Come on, go to pit road, go to pit road. Oh, there's the caution. Matt Green. Daniel Suarez leading with McMurray. A good battle, but McMurray has a lot of damage. Well, there goes my prediction. Does not hit the wall. That was almost really bad. Here we go. We're going back green into the restart zone and back to the green flag. Daniel Suarez leading once again. Harvick spins. Kozlowski's involved. Junior's involved again. Looks like Daniel Suarez got by. That was not good. So Clint Boyer, Sunhouse Jr. leading. Green flag's back in the air. Is that Brendan gone in fourth? Yeah, it is. That's insane. Double for Kozlowski. That is not good. It's not good at all. Here we go. Ty Dillon's in second. Come on, Ty. You can do this. Here we go. Back green. Matt Kenseth's leading. Oh, trouble. Casey Kane. I mean, it seems so many times that Casey Kane has just freaking spun into that area at Daytona. Usually hits the wall. Matt Kenseth leading with Eric Jones in second. Going back green. Look at this. Bubba Wallace is in second. That's insane. I mean now definitely like insane. Right next to his best friend Ryan Blaney. That's insane. So they just said that they think that Eric Amarola might be back at New Hampshire. Hopefully that's true. Caution is out for Matt Benedetto. He has a tire down. That's not good. Okay they're going back green. Ryan Blaney's leading. Come on Ryan. Don't let Kenseth win. Also Clint Boyer. It'd be nice to see Clint Boyer win. He needs to win a big race. Like he said at the end of last week and like in my NASCAR WTF moments video I said that uh, that he needed a big win and he hasn't won since the 2012 October Charlotte race it's been quite a long time and is it Kyle Busch in the top 10 or somewhere like that Guys, who was just spinning a few laps ago yeah and now who guess who's leading the same exact guy anything is possible at Daytona Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is taking the lead back from Casey Kane. Can Ricky Stenhouse Jr. get his second win of the season? Ty Dillon's also coming. Can Ty Dillon get it? That'd be awesome. How does the camera do that? How do, I want to know how it does that. Where it's like, it looks like it's looking across pit road, and without changing cameras, it comes back around and is like near the wall. How does it do that? Over the years of watching NASCAR, a lot of more things make sense, but that that's something I still don't get. And I'm a camera guy too, so that's, I mean, literally makes no sense. I like it, I just don't get how it works. Ty Dillon looks like he's trying to take the lead back. Ty Dillon, come on Ty, you can do this. Ty Dillon got it, come on Ty, you got this. He almost won it over, if you guys remember. Come on Ty, you got this. Eight laps to go. It's still anybody's race, don't think that it's over yet. It's nowhere near over. Ty Dillon could still finish in early 30s. Inside line, the 17 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Look at the hands. Oh, there's trouble, oh, Kyle Larson. Oh, I saw that from his onboard view, that guy's onboard view. That's insane. 
I saw him getting airborne too. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Huge. Oh god, Larson's done. I only saw I saw that live from the guy's onboard cam, and I'm not sure whose onboard cam it was, but might have been Almadinger. That was insane. I know, right? Oh my god. That was almost way huger than it was. I mean, he pretty much was destined to go airborne. Okay, guys, this is gonna be an intense restart. Going back green. We're gonna have three laps to go when we go back green. Keep in mind, there's no overtime line because it's not uh, overtime. Or like a green white checkered. David Reagan's leading now. AJ Allmendinger hasn't won since Watkins Glen in 2014. A lot of these guys are looking to break a winless streak. Besides Stenhouse, he hasn't won since May. Is David Reagan about to win this race? Seriously? That's insane. Oh, trouble! Eric Jones! Oh gosh, and ha Hamlin's involved. Where's the caution? Okay, no caution yet. No caution? Okay, there's the caution. It's gonna make it a lot more stressful. A lot more stressful. Okay, you guys don't even know. Like, my heart is pounding. I don't really care who in the top six wins. But it's just like, I'm nervous. Usually, I'm, my heart is pounding when I want someone to win. I don't really care who wins. Okay, it looks like David Reagan or Ty Dillon. Reagan. I mean, this is where it happened last time. But yeah, it looks like... And he's crossed the overtime line. This is it. This is it. Oh, here comes Ricky Stenhouse. Here comes Stenhouse. Michael McDowell's in second. Come on, McDowell. You got this. Come on. It'd be super awesome to see McDowell wins that you don't even know oh there's chase elliott keep it green keep it green please just keep it green i want to see some racing all menard hasn't won since 2011 the brickyard 400 kill anyone's race i'd be happy with any of these guys up here it looks like it's stenhouse and he does it wow that is epic that is amazing. This is insane. I am so happy. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. win. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be out for a few more hours, too. I got to edit this all. Keep that in mind. So now he's won both a night race and a day race. Who would not have believed me if I said coming into the season that Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is going to win twice? He wouldn't even believe me if I said Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is going to win once. Okay, you might believe me, but you wouldn't believe me if I said he was going to win twice. And I always thought he would have gotten his first one at Bristol, because he, he got a lot of freaking good races at Bristol. Jr. gets out of the car on top of it. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I just jumped off his car. Didn't they, like, ban that? And they have, like, a few races back in freaking early 2000s, where they had freaking bars. So drivers wouldn't get on the top of their cars in victory lane. Are they just gonna do victory lane right here? That'd be iconic. I like that And Happy birthday to my sister Becca and Richard Petty. Okay guys I am going to end the vlog right here for you guys tonight. I want to thank you guys for watching so much Please like it and comment stay strong guys Chester say good night say good night speak it English, please Okay, have a fantastic day today, and I will see you later